welcome back everyone. We are continuing tonight with Dark Queen of Kryn, part of the Dragonlance series. Okay, let's start with the load. Alright, looks like everyone's healed up and ready to start the adventure. Not to be confused with fleas, which are on dogs. Or people, or other things. Because fleas are just fleas. Alright. So, all right, got it. Know where to go. A royal bedroom. Um. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, should be right through here. Lies in Lizian's Great Hall. I don't know. Lizian meets you as elves throng around. Outlanders, I bring you a message from the king in Dargonost. He has heard of your actions on our behalf and extends to you the gratitude of our people. He presents you this. Treasure. Footman's Dragonlance. We will take it. Are we really? Hey. <laughs> okay. Wield it in good health. Captain Donner has told me of your experience with the Draconians. Even here we have heard of those evil beings. He believes it important to pursue them at once, lest the trail to them and his sister, Chrissia, grow cold. So now is the time for us to bring you to the land of Talidus and return you to your element. Donor will join you when he can. Let me give you something of my own. He displays another Krylikov, the echoing seashell, and speaks into it. Present this to the man Ezra on Talidus. It will prove you are friends, and he may be able to help you. For the journey, a traveling spell is needed. Do not be alarmed. He speaks several words, and you all begin to drowse. The world grows dark. In the moments before sleep, you think you see many of the elves change into dolphins. Everything goes black. You dream of seascapes gliding by and the gentle rhythms of swimming. Dark shapes haunt your dreams. Those are orcas. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's turn off searching. Okay. So we have two levels. Let's give our people those levels. It will be... Emmy is now a level 13 fighter. Ooh. That go of 8 and 2 attacks per round. Grandolf is now a much more powerful mage. We'll give him power word kill. So, we are now actually... in Talidus and it's in a hamlet called Hisden and we just woke up because you know what <laughs> that's how it works 
Hello, I'm happy to see that you're awake. You're here in the hamlet of Hisden. A fisherman found you on the beach. He brought you here on his wagon. What do you do? Ask about Ezra. Ezra? Well, there is an Ezra that owns the bait shop. Could he be who you want? Ask about children of the sea. What? Don't know anything about no children of the sea. You can leave my inn now. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to meander. A gang of seasoned rogues ambush you. They probably shouldn't have done that. I keep forgetting that this doesn't have that. Oh, we're gonna have a nice surprise for these guys. Of course. Well, let's see. We have this. Oh. Whoops. Burned Gimli. a bunch of these guys. This is a long fight. Alright, now that we have a spell we know is ours, Eighty-three, okay, there we go. So everyone's moving so slow now. All right. Well, that was actually worth the fight. Um, let's see. Detect. Take. Items. Uh, nothing's magic. Okay. Exit. Exit. Share. Exit. Nope. Ah, well. They should have been nice. An old woman is lying in bed, snoring loudly. Alright. You pass a merchant driving a cart. Okay.
Okay, well, let's... A carpenter is working on the roof here. A quiet, empty building. It was abandoned after a small fire some time ago and never repaired. Camp. Okay, well, let's let's fix it, one. Magic memorize. Okay. So uh, memorize. Keep. Memorize. Okay. Memorize. Oh, she's got a lot. Oh, bummer. Do it right. All right. Uh, keep. Nice. Keep. Okay. Rest. Okay. Now let's memorize. So let's do an extra magic missile. Let's grab another haste. <sighs> Easier to go from the bottom to the top. Okay, we get two of these. So let's grab that and that. One of those, I only, okay. Okay, let's see if he can scribe. Scribe. Okay, let's get those scribed. <laughs> We're going to be resting a while. All right. A, no. Save J, no. And I think... We're good. Yay! Honestly, this one's a lot better than some of the early ones. Just because... The graphics are a little crisper now. Town guards, I use suspiciously. Feel like I'm right back in Flan all those many, many years ago. Militia stores. I like it. What can we sell you fine people? Alright, let's pull. Do items. ID, yes. Yes. ID, yes. Want of paralyzation. ID, yes. ID, yes. Okay, so we can sell that. Yeah. Um, we can sell the Salomnic plate. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, honestly, let's hold on to the sword. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's do a damage comparison. 1d6 plus 10. That thing hits like a truck. 1d6 plus 10. Okay. Well, I'm kind of partial to flails. Let's pull everything. <laughs> so what do you got? Plus three shield. And she's got a footman's dragon lance. Okay, exit. 
Exit. She's got a footman's dragon lance. Okay. She has a shield plus one. Well. It's got a mace plus one. All right. Trade that to him. Well, let's sell that. Trade that to her. Okay, trade that hopefully to Grandolf. Alright, still got a plus two shield that he doesn't actually need. Okay, ready that. That'll, that'll help her out a little bit. Yep. Uh, okay. She's got Who Pack plus three. Staff of Striking. Okay. Staff plus two. But doesn't he also have Olin's quarter staff? Hmm. How much does that? Okay. 2750. Uh, yes. him. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Definitely not selling that. Uh, we've got all this steel again. everything. Alright, let's share it all. I hope there's a bank. Uh, da -da -da -da. General store, training hall. All right, let's pull. Cause we, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do we always have so much steel? Share, okay. There's gotta be a place we can actually deposit stuff. anywhere we can actually drop gold off. Well, drop money off would be the right word. Alright, pool. You're taking the jewelry and 30 of the gems and 300 of the steel. Okay, you're taking the rest of the gems. 
and 200 steel. All right, take 200 steel. Take 200. Uh, take. Okay, everyone has money now. More than enough. Trust me. More than enough money. No! For the love of Pete, no! Miss Lexa. Don't know that one. Oh. Welcome to the Temple of Miss Lexa. Prepare. Exit. Okay. A priest approaches you. Welcome, strangers. Would you care to give a donation to the Church of Miss Lexa? Do you give him a coin? Yes. Uncle Boromir will. Okay, fine. Select. The priest takes a coin from Uncle Boromir. Okay. The merchant wheels his cart by but offers you nothing. You intrude upon a human family. The father confronts you. What is the meaning of this? Get out. What do you do? We leave. <laughs> Rather than fight, well, I hope rather than fight, we leave. In. They don't like me here at the end. Militia training hall. Fish market of Hisden. Nobody here. A sign reads, gone fishing. Appropriate. Bait shop of his, that's where we're headed. The bait shop smells strongly of fish. Hooks and nets line the walls. You don't look like fishermen. Can't imagine why. Who sent you? A friend of yours. I have no time to play games. He shows you out and slams the door behind you. Oh, okay. What? I cannot believe you. Do you give him the Krylocon? Yep. Ezra's eyes open wide as he gently takes the shell from you. He holds the Krylocon to his ear and smiles sadly. It has been too long since I have heard my father's voice. As the shell crumbles to dust, Ezra continues. We children of the sea are a solitary lot. I am ill-informed in the ways of the world, but I can give you some advice. This is recorded as Journal Entry 37. Okay, 37. Travel north, my friends, and soon you will come upon an ancient lighthouse. For eons, the light has guided sailors through the dangerous shoals of the tide run. Legend has it that the tower is deserted except for what ma whatever magic keeps it glowing. But I know that there is a keeper, and his wisdom is profound. Seek his aid, and you will be richly rewarded. But be warned, strangers are not welcome in the ancient tower, and reaching its pinnacle may prove to be a dangerous task. Good luck, champions. May your quest be fruitful. But beware, you are a stranger to the ways of Talidus. All may not be what it seems. As you leave, Ezra stares solemnly across the sea. Yay, experience. Okay. Da-da-da. Oh, more people. A husband and wife are having a fight. They bleak at you, then start yelling at each other again. Glad we didn't interrupt. <laughs> tavern. Quiet tavern. What do you do? Let's talk. 
A fisherman says, I hear Trandomir's acting up again. Best to keep to ourselves. What do you do? Let's, let's leave. No reason to hang about. The calm is broken by a piercing scream of horror. Dragons are raiding the town. Flee for your lives. Townsfolk are being attacked. Do you go to their aid? Yes. Ah, we have found the landworms that have ruined our plans. We will avenge our lost comrades. Yep. Good luck with that. suffer. Alright. Well, buddy. Now is your time to shine. Kill a dragon. Nope. Alright, Sarah. You get a chance to kill the dragon. Good job. Nope. Well, we're getting there. What do they got? Money. Okay, exit pool, share. Now we'll take. I don't care if it's magic. <laughs> I really don't. Okay, okay. Townsfolk approach you. Thank you, strangers. We will always you will always be welcome in our hamlet. After that multiple thousand steel that I gave to your uh, let's rest let's fix get our delayed blast fireball back save and Looks like we're heading north. Yep. Guards congratulate you as you leave. Thank you, heroes. May Ms. Laxa reward your deed. Wow. Um. Okay, it's hard to tell. You pass a farmer working his fields. Ooh. Okay. You glimpse the lighthouse tower of Luminari. Do you approach the tower? We do. You are standing on a stone porch outside the great lighthouse tower of Luminari. The roar of the surf is loud in your ears. Above the large iron door floats sharp, fiery letters. Go away. Lovely. Just lovely. Oh. <laughs> Huh. 
Huh, da da da. Okay, well, here we go. All right, well. We're starting. The tour clangs shut behind you with a heavy, ominous echo. In the dim light, you see the blasted remains of stone walls, all but covered with 100 years of cobwebs, dust, and mold. Lovely. Oh. Here is a poorly disguised hole in the floor. There is a poorly disguised hole in the floor to your south. Okay. So that's just... The floor to your east is a simple illusion covering a gaping pit. <laughs> okay. It's literally like... Trap! Here! In the center of an immense spider web, there is a giant two-headed orc, kicking and struggling. Its two heads scream and curse. Yeah, let's see. It's an N. Ends are not known for being polite. And we'll leave the thing in the web. We don't need no stinking spiders. The remains of a teleporter. Oh, I love the little eyes right here. <laughs> Some little vermin just looking at us. Not all of them are like that. Oh, look, stairs. Climbing the stairs. So oh, we're on level two. Oh. Uh oh. There are dead spiders here. Their heads have been bitten off. Ozzy? You are attacked by Entons and two-headed trolls, bellowing with rage. That's a really disturbing picture. Okay, I can hit here. So, we're going to hit there. Yep, right there. Oh, crap. Let's see if she can kill something. Oops. No offense to the footman's lance. It's a great weapon and all, but...
Oh, you poor stupid giants. You're, you're literally facing down rangers. Never your best option. Terrible option. Party has found treasure. Really? What did we find? Uh, a couple of steel pieces. Okay, well, how much do we have? Um, we're not, not, we're not hurting for treasure. We really are not hurting for treasure. Do, do, do. Okay. There is a poorly hidden pit in the floor to your north. You hear a screeching sound echoing in some distant passage. Ah. Oh, the floor to your east. The stones of the floor shift under your feet. Fun. That got us nowhere. Okay. Well, let's see. Where did we come out of? You hear a pounding sound above you. Dead spiders. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay. You are attacked by enormous spiders and huge bats. Battle begins. Well, let's see. Right there. Could have come over. Oh, really? You guys aren't supposed to keep making your saves. That's annoying. Poison. All right, let's see. Let, let's drop that. Just so I know, that go of thirteen. That go of ten. Legolas is just doing what she always does. Okay, well, that was fun. Found no treasure. Okay, well. Haven't found a whole lot of anything, have we? Okay, we found this. Spiders and bats. Holy! Wow. Guess a lot of them beat us in initiative.
regardless, we're still dropping a fireball on them. Yep, right on you. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Caught in it, you're dead. Oh my gosh. Ooh. You left it at one. How dare you? Okay, view items. Let's, uh, you might as well. reason why you have it. Really need to stop leaving things on one hit point, guys. <laughs> Found no treasure. We don't need treasure, we need bats. Two headed trolls, bellowing with rage. Alright, well. Oh. Still got your short bow equipped. So let's see, 45, and you do stupid damage because they're considered giants. Which is literally the same thing for her. Oh, of course you want to be stupid. Oh. All right. Where, where, where is it? Ready that. Ready that. Ready that. Exit, exit. Just throw rocks at things, because that's about all you're good for.
Nope. Uh, found treasure. Hey, uh. <laughs> Pittance of gold. Well, okay, steel. I really don't understand why they did what they did with this. Anyway. Alright. Climbed up a level. Da -da -da. Ew, okay, okay. You are ta oh. It really is a horde, too. We're going to try and get rid of this necklace of missiles. I guess we could have gone up one. Short work is done. Time for the long work. It's got quite a few hit points, too. All right. No treasure. Not a surprise. But Uncle Boromir has finally made a level. Is level 12. Yay! Okay, okay, okay. I'm kind of lost now. Okay. Really lost. Those <laughs> found creatures, they just got home.
That did some work. the sword again. Yep, the two-headed trolls are trying to survive. I guess you can only get one attack with a who pack no matter what. treasure a few copper coins okay obviously we took a wrong turn <laughs> oh well that was completely wrong okay the west so there's the pit trap around there for a second you see an odd contraption of two chains and wheels do you take it yeah oh well, Gimli has the contraption you hear a pounding sound above you this is a storeroom piled high with bricks mortar and other construction materials you know what? Let's see if we can fix ourselves up and get our spells back. Okay. We will definitely take it. I don't know what the stone shifting does to me, but there are dead spipes. Okay. <laughs> there is a gnome sitting on the stairs pouting. Well, let's talk. I want my dual cycle transitenhasener. I want it now. The gnome will talk of nothing else. Uh, offer help? Give me my... Yeah, okay. I'm not even going to try <laughs> that out again. Do you offer the contraption? 
Yes. The gnome looks relieved and excited. He takes a small hammer from a hidden pocket and taps on the invisible barrier which shatters into millions of tiny pebbles. Grabbing the contraption, he sets it on its wheels and climbs on top and pedals away down the dark passage. And Tall Gimli has a level, so let's give him his level up. He's a 12th level cleric. He can cast Restoration. Oh my goodness. Well. Ugh. <laughs> Okay. Climbing up the stairs. Okay. A group of ghostly forms stand in the corridor before you. They do not speak or move, yet they appear to be real and not mere seemings. There is a pile of gems on the floor. What do you do? Move forward. One of the spectral figures moves silently forward and addresses you. You may not pass. Such is the will of our mage lord. Then, holding the sword in one hand, the spectral figures makes a coughing sound and holds out the other hand palm upward. Place in gem. Oh, select. The spectral guardian tosses the gem onto the heap on the floor. Then they all move quietly aside. It appears that you may now pass. All right, well, we're going to do something kind of weird. The door is locked. What do you do? We pick it. This was once some sort of office or study. There is a desk and a chair. On the desk is a piece of paper. Do you take the piece of paper? Yes. The paper is very old and brittle. Do you read it? Yes. This is recorded as journal entry 52. To-do list. Things to do. Fix the light. That is checked off. Find more power. Block doorway. Train gorgons. Bribery. Visit library. Repair broken teleporter. Install new doors. Clean the basement. The light's fixed. Okay, he's good. Okay, she's as good as she's going to get. Uh, okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can cast them, but he can't memorize them. Oop. Okay. All right. All right, let's rest. 
Okay. Is there anything you actually can scribe? Okay. Nope. And looks like we're going to continue. Spectral Guardians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, place a gem. You are pummeled and buffeted in all directions by strange unseen forces. Powerful energies swirl all about you. The power of the vortex is humbling. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, okay. 22 is... Four. Oh, okay. Well, okay. It is neither physical nor magical. It is a force you have never experienced before. Thankfully, it is not aimed at you. simple illusion covering a gaping pit. In the calm at the center of the vortex there are words painted on the floor. Warning! Do not enter vortex. Vortex may be harmful when operating. <laughs> so fun! <laughs> Dual cycle transit enhancer. Yeah, you're right. That's it. <laughs> He's just talking gnome. That's why it was hard to read. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry, dude. I cannot help you. Okay. Exit. A column space at the center of the vortex. Last one. And charge. There is treasure here. Do you take it? Yes, we do. make it through this I promise there's treasure here do you take it yes we do more treasure
charge the floor to your north. To level six. <sighs> oh my word. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, wait, what? a lot in this place. Ten is, oh, ten is crazy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's, this is just crazy what's going on here. We are on level six. Which is not going to be an easy one. Okay, to our north. You hear voices in the passage around the corner to the east. I say he's nuts. Probably cracked years ago. Killing the old wizard will be a snap. Don't be so sure, Xantos. It doesn't pay to underestimate a wizard like that. If I catch you slacking off, I'll kill you myself. Got it, Xantos? Hoof. You see a party of dark wizards. They're not happy to see us. Okay, well, let's, let's see. Let's try this one. has found treasure what do they got for money bunch of darts and quarter staves uh, nope well I think we just spoiled their plan Floor to your south. Mm -hmm. There is a stone statue of a number hulk here. 
not a good sign. You are attacked by Ember Hulks, gleefully clashing their mandibles. Well... Why are they always behind us? Previous target. Uh, no. No treasure. Getting our butts kicked pretty hard, though. Glad it's there. There are shattered remains of some sort of statue here. Not promising. Definitely not promising. You encounter a number Hulk and a reddish brown beholder. They turn to flee. What do you do? This can't be good. This really can't be good. Well taunted deer. The monsters flee in shame and fear. I'm fine with that. Honestly, I'm really fine with that. Level 7. Okay, this is where we're at. Okay, well. There is a 12 foot wide set of steel jaws in the passage before you. They are connected to a complex set of springs and cables. Each tooth of the jaw is a 3 foot spike of glistening steel. <laughs> Disarm the trap? She cannot disarm the trap. Okay. Interesting. What does it say about this? <laughs> okay. Well. Alright, well, we'll advance. You hear a soft clip and the deep groan of straining metal. The steel jaws quiver. Nothing happens. On 32, 33, 34. The holders, 33. In area 30, oh, okay. 37. Interesting. Eight, nine. Wow, that's an interesting way. Okay.
Well, this tower is impressively fun. Throw goblin in. I don't have a goblin to throw into the trap. <laughs> I don't have goblins to throw down the not concealed pit. <laughs> That's the funny part. Okay, we're on. Okay, we're on seven. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. Stone here is hot. Especially right here. There is a battle going on to your west. A group of tan beholders is fighting against red-brown beholders. There are gorgons in the tan group. Umber hulks are among the red-brown group. As soon as you enter the chamber, both sides give up the battle to concentrate their attacks on you. <sighs> you mean the miserable things don't have a slow ray? Yep, they do. Miserable creatures. She have oh she has no arrows ready okay Oh my gosh. Why? You. Honest, the swords are going to work better. Oh, my God. No, we don't want to continue battle. I hate beholders. I hate beholders so damn much. <sighs> okay. They're dead. Hot stone, hot rock. 
rocks, hot, hot rocks. Stairs to level eight. Okay. You are being approached by strange creatures that look like large metallic bulls. There is an eerie grace to their movements. What do you do? Where am I? Okay. We will talk. The strange animals ignore your words and attack. That was not very impressive. of gorgons obviously I think I took a wrong turn somewhere I did suddenly fire elementals attack you from all directions the battle begins got a stick of beating so oops Okay. Oh, she left it on two.
Oh, he's still using a footman's piece. Don't know why he's still using a footman's lance. something here. Oh, 16A will take me to 16B. Not a bad thing, actually. Uh, okay. Shattered remains of some sort of statue. Or a fire elementals dance and flicker around a chest on the floor. What do you do? Let's see, so. Well, let's take him out. That's a lot. in doubt, throw ice at him. I don't understand why that doesn't do more damage. We're gonna do something really stupid next round. Because we're going to see if this works. It doesn't. Okay. Figured it would be interesting to see. They're still going to stack stupidly, so we'll still throw ice at them. One that's almost dead. Because it's always worth it to take out. Ones that are close to death. What do we got? Still have Wand of Paralyzation. 
There it is. There it is. Things are again just not the smartest. Okay, time to just start pegging one. Oh. Mm. Nah. Just keep going. Let's see. Mm, yeah, one more here. Oh! So they've been making their saves. And continue the battle. Found no treasure. You have defeated the elementals. Do you try to open the chest? Yes. Who will try? Uh, Emmy. Open the chest. It is surprisingly cool inside. You have found treasure. Alright, take. Well. Take items. <laughs> Take that. Oh my gosh. All right. Share. You. We don't have a lot. All right. Well, you take everything. I don't know if that mirror is worth anything. Hmm, I don't think so, but as you can see, we have Legolas has a level. She is now a 17th level ranger. Which is kind of crazy that she's the highest level. Alright, exit. So. All right, we're gonna encamp and try and fix, uh, of course.
Oh, no. Like I said, it's kind of a try and use everything up on it. That's an unimpressive one. again all right well that, that's gonna end it for tonight so gonna save a um friday weather weather dependent because we have been getting slammed with snow it's gonna be torg and baldur's gate well no i take it back i will not be available to play Baldur's Gate 3 on Friday so it will just be Torg um if you're on YouTube give us a like give us a subscribe and share the video and I hope you have a great night and we will talk to you later